Hello, my name is Laverna Whitcup from Ford Insurance Agency. In this short video, we're going to learn about your Medicare options. What is Medicare? When am I eligible to enroll? Why do I need more than the original Medicare? And which plan is right for me? A Medigap plan or a Medicare Advantage plan? On this slide, you're going to see what is the original Medicare. Medicare is a card that you get from the Social Security Administration, and it's a, this red, white, and blue card that you see here. On this card, it's going to have your name. It's going to have your contract number, which is, I call it the alphabet soup number. It's a contract number made up of alpha characters and number characters. Years ago, it used to be your Social Security number, but nowadays, they don't do that anymore. Thank goodness. Um, when you look at your Medicare card, you're going to see that you have two different levels of coverage. Part A, which is your hospital coverage, and Part B, which is your medical coverage. Under Part A hospitalization insurance, you get things like hospital care, skilled nursing care, and hospice care. We don't want that, but hospice care is in there. On Part B, you've got doctor's fees covered. That's called all your medical benefits outpatient hospital visits, and other medical services and supplies that are not included in Part A. Both Part A and B have deductibles before they start to pay. And Part B typically covers 80% of all of your medical services. What does Original Medicare cover? Original Medicare does not cover all of your medical costs, only up to 80% of those. It does not include prescription drugs. That was never part of the original Medicare program. And it does not have an annual limit as to your out-of-pocket expenses. What if I want more coverage? In addition to original Medicare, you can choose to purchase additional coverage from a private insurance company. Medicare Part C, also known as Medicare Advantage, you can also purchase Medicare Part D, which is prescription drugs, and a Medigap policy, also known as Medicare Supplement. So if you hear those two phrases, Medigap and Medicare Supplement, please know that they're the same thing. How do I decide what is right for me? Here's how a Medicare Advantage Part C plan works. First of all, you have to have the original Part A and B of Medicare. Then we layer on additional coverage to limit the out-of-pocket expenses. Next, we have health care extras that are in your policy. It could be a lot of extras, and I'll go through those in a little bit. And then we also add on extra prescription drugs. Or you could decide you want to have just the original Medicare, like what we talked about before, the parts A and B. We could add on the Medigap plan, which limits your costs and picks up all those extra 20% on the medical side of Medicare. And then we'd add in a separate prescription drug card, which you would get through Medicare.gov. Why a Medicare Advantage plan, or MAPD as we call those? MAPD, by the way, stands for Medicare Advantage Prescription Drugs. So as I go through this, just remember that it's a Medicare Advantage with prescription drugs that we're going to talk about. You might like the idea of paying lower monthly premiums. You want original parts A and B, plus additional benefits and services. You prefer predictable co-payments and deductibles. You want the protection of an out-of-pocket limit. That's important. You want to save money by using a network of providers. So what is Medicare Advantage? These are health plans that are offered by private insurance companies to give you additional coverage to your parts A and B coverage. When Medicare Advantage plans include D, again, that's what we call the Medicare Advantage prescription drug programs. MAPD plans are usually the best way to get the lowest cost plans for Part A, B, and D together. They've been increasingly popular since the Part D benefits came back out several years ago. MAPD plans also include extras like dental, gym memberships, fitness programs, and today they're just adding a lot of extras in there that people really seem to like. With MAPD plans, you have just one card and one company to deal with. It makes it really simple for all of your medical and pharmacy needs. So how does a Medicare Advantage plan work? Well, guess what? You've paid for this benefit. I'll have lots of people that will come into my office and say, how does this all get paid? 
by the government, by the insurance companies? Well, this is how it works. First of all, you have to have that Medicare Part B. And by the way, the government's going to charge you for that Part B, so don't be surprised by that. So you actually are still paying for this as we go along anyway. Then you have this Social Security tax where they're paying into the Medicare trust fund alongside of you. Then you pay a Medicare Advantage prescription drug premium. Now, so there's some plans out there that don't have a premium at all attached to them, so you might be surprised by that. But that premium, along with the monies that are going into that Medicare trust fund, end up going to your insurance carrier. And then your insurance carrier manages and coordinates your health care and creates access to your network providers and hospitals. They administer your customer service and all of your billing and your enrollment. And they also pay all of your claims. So it makes it simple. A one card shopping experience when you do this Medicare Advantage program. So when am I eligible to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan? Well, first of all, I'm going to stress this again, you have to have that parts A and B in your uh, Medicare program. So, yep, you got to pay for that. You must be a permanent resident of Michigan and reside in our service area for at least six months of the year. You can't be denied for pre-existing conditions except if you have a diagnosis of end-stage renal disease, or ESRD. Now, I know that in 2021, that is going to go away. So that's only for this year, for 2020. When can I enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan? Well, first of all, we have three different aspects of um, eligibility to get into the Medicare Advantage program. You have, first of all, your initial coverage election period. Then you have your annual election period. And then guess what? You have a third one called your special enrollment period. And I'll go through all three of these in detail. Your initial coverage election period is the seven month period that begins three months before your initial entitlement to part A and B, usually your 65th birthday month. So you've got a seven month window to choose or sign up for your Medicare program. Gives you plenty of time to decide what you wanna do. You can elect to have just original Medicare parts A and B or add extra coverage like Medicare Advantage or Medigap. Medigap plan and or Part D prescription drugs. If you don't sign up for Medicare Part B or D when you are initially eligible and you don't have other creditable coverage, you will receive a late enrollment penalty when you do sign up. You don't want that. You want to be able to have all of this done in a very timely fashion so that you avoid all of those penalties because I can tell you from the experience, they're not pretty. Another time to enroll in Medicare Advantage is during the annual election period. These are the dates between October 15th and December 7th. You can choose to remain in your current Medicare Advantage plan if you don't want to make a change. You don't need to do anything. Or you can enroll in Medicare Advantage plan if you haven't before. You can switch to a different plan. or If you are already enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan, you can go from company to company at that time if you want to as well. And then your coverage starts over on January 1st. Special enrollment period. These are periods outside the ICEP and AEP when an individual can change his or her current plan. Here are some examples. If you move outside your plan's service area. If you are enrolled in both Medicare and Medicaid. If you qualify for low income subsidy. If you lose creditable coverage through your employer. If your plan no longer offers Medicare Advantage plans, and if your plan is terminated by Medicare. Then there's one more point time when you can change your Medicare Advantage plan. Not a lot of people know about this option, but it is there. This is called the Medicare Advantage Open Enrollment Period. This allows you to change to a different Medicare Advantage or Medicare Advantage plan with prescription drugs or disenroll from your plan and return to the original Medicare. You must already be enrolled in an MIPD or MA plan. You may also add or drop Part D. Only one plan change is allowed. This time occurs during January 15th through March 31st every year. For new Medicare beneficiaries enrolling in a plan during their ICEP, it occurs from the month of the entitlement to Part A and Part B, the last day of the third month of entitlement. 
And then the effective date is the first day of the next month. Now, I know that all of these ICEP, AEP, OEP, MAOEP, all of these different enrollment times can sound very confusing. But that's why you align yourself with someone like me or, or someone in our community that can help guide you with these types of things. And of course, I would be glad to do that for you. Medigap plans. These are optional supplemental plans. Supplemental insurance that may cover costs that the original Medicare doesn't cover. The federal government standardizes all of these plans. You'll pay a monthly premium for a Medigap plan, and the Medicap, Medigap plans do not include prescription drug coverage. You have to purchase a separate Part D plan. So one thing I'm gonna go back to on this slide is that the federal government standardizes all of these plans. One thing that you need to know about Medigap plans is that these are offered through insurance companies. They've been around since the 60s when Medicare came into play. And there's these plans out there that are called A through N, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way up through N. These plans are not to be confused with the A, B, C, Ds of Medicare. So that's kind of confusing the way that they put these things together. So these plans, what we mean by that they're standardized is that if you look at a G plan with one insurance company and a G plan and another insurance company, and you live in Grand Traverse County, well, those plans have to be identical. In fact, they have to be out throughout the whole state. They have to be identical in what their plans offer. And that's what we mean by standardized. The only thing that can be different on these plans is their price of the, or their premium of the plan. When am I eligible for Medigap? But one time would be when you're 65 or older. In order to get Medigap coverage, you must be enrolled in Medicare A and B. So yes, you still got to pay that Medicare Part B premium that we mentioned earlier. You must be a permanent resident of the state of Michigan. If you are under 65 and eligible for Medicare due to a disability, you may be eligible to enroll in a plan A or C. And again, those are Medigap plans. When am I eligible for a Medigap plan? During your open enrollment period, which is the six month period beginning the first day of the month in which you are both age 65 or older and enrolled in Medicare Part B. During your guaranteed issue period, you won't be denied to get an increased premium due to pre-existing conditions. So that is our presentation for today. Hopefully this will help you make a decision between a Medicare Advantage plan with prescription drugs or a Medigap plan and then you would buy per separate prescription drugs on medicare.gov. Again, my name is Laverna Whitka. I'm from Ford Insurance Agency. I'd be glad to help you understand more of your Medicare options. Feel free to call me or email me and we can set up a time to get together. Thank you.